All right, we got some playoff action here with the Twins and the Cleveland Indians. Both of them still in the thick of it. Well, especially the Twins. Cleveland, they're pretty much out of it. But the Twins are right there. Should be a good game. And I'm going to back over the total in this spot. I like how it sets up both situationally and statistically. I think both these teams are going to have some good quality at bats against these two pitchers today. Let's break it down. Odds makers came out with the number at eight. It dropped to seven and a half. That was kind of surprising. Kind of makes some sense. Both these pitchers pitched against their opposing teams last week, Cleveland against Minnesota, same pitchers on the mound uh, today. So it's going to be in kind of an interesting situation. We'll break down what happened in those games in a second. Still, I like the fact that these teams saw these pitchers recently to go ahead and have some quality at bats and put up some runs. So a little surprise the line dropped. Some places it's still at eight. I'm going to take it over seven and a half at regular juice. Okay, let's start talking about these pitchers. Kyle Gibson gets a start for Minnesota. Good home numbers, bad road numbers, and didn't pitch well last time against Cleveland. So far this year, he comes in 3.96 ERA, 1.30 whip, 136 strikeouts. He's 10 and 11 on the year. On the road, his ERA uh, jumps to 4.43, and last week against Cleveland, he allowed six earned runs. So Indians should come in with a lot of confidence against him. For the Indians, got Cody Anderson, the rookie. Having a good year so far. He pitched against the Twins last week as well. And he comes in with a 3.31 ERA, 1.13 whip, 42 strikeouts. He's 6-3 on the year. He's just a rookie. But, you know, he's been solid. He's got some good stuff. Faced the Twins last week. They only scored one run off him, but they got 10 hits. So they just, that's really odd for that to happen. A team gets 10 hits, and, you know, usually that spells out at least four runs. But it didn't work out. He was able to, you know, keep the run totals down. I don't anticipate him doing that today. He has a home... He has a home ERA of 4.35. So I look for the Twins to go ahead and get to him. Have some quality at bats. Produce some runs. Offensively, the Twins, good home team, not a good road team. Overall in the year, they come in to rank 10th in the major leagues in run scored per game, 22nd in OPS, 23rd in batting average. So I'm going more for, you know, they only hit 248 as a team, and they hit much better in Minnesota than they do on the road. So I, the way for me to take this play on the over is the situation sets up that they just faced Anderson last week and they got a lot of hits off them. They should come into Cleveland with some confidence. The Indians, pretty good hitting team in their own right. They set up the same as the Twins as far as at home and away disparity. They're a good home hitting team. Overall, they come in uh, ranking 18th in run scored per game, uh, 13th in OPS. They're 11th in batting average, hitting 256 as a team. Um, and all those stats go up at home. They're a really good home hitting team. I look for them to go, to have, go ahead and have some more quality at bats against Gibson, who has not pitched well on the road. I don't think they'll get to him like they did last time for that six runs, but I, I'm pretty sure they're going to be good for at least three or four. Both these teams should have some good quality at bats. Okay, that's going to be my over the total play in Major League Baseball today. Should be a good one between the Twins and the Indians. Two teams technically in it, more so to the Twins. And it's coming down to the wire. I wish you luck on your plays of the day.